Hey everyone, this is Olson Wakabashi from Zen Ideas. So this is the CRM system that built based on a WordPress platform. So as you can see here, so if you click this one, uh, it's uh, the WordPress and then just go to dashboard. It just simplifies that this is just a dashboard for CRM. So I like this way. Now today I want to talk about how easy to create donation management system. All right. So, um, so first of all, like there are forms here. So I created the forms for donations. So there is volunteer and donation form. So I'll talk about volunteer management system later on, but let's talk about donation form here. So this is how you can build donor management system quite easy. So I'm going to hit the edit form. So I have already um, built a form here. And this is really easy to build. So for example, the name field, you can just drag and drop here. So I got the last name, first name here and the email too. like already I have email. So these are uh, here too, like just drag and drop here. And then the address uh, field is going to be here. And then, you know, whether this is going to be monthly or one time donation. And I use this a radio field, you know, just drag and drop here and add that. So same as here. Um, for this donor management system, I got the 10, 25, 50, and hundred dollars. So once again, it's a radio button. Uh, so you can just click this plus button to add more, uh, pre, um, predetermined amount, uh, do donation amount, or you can use uh, the other amount as well. Okay. So it's really easy to do right here. Okay. And then, uh, on the bottom here, so the donor can choose whether they can pay uh, by PayPal or offline payment. Um, it's up to them. Um, I use PayPal for this online donation form, but you can use like Stripe and other online platform or gateway. It's quite easy to add to that. All right. And once you built this form, uh, it took me about like 30 minutes to this, uh, build this forms and go to setting and uh, integrations. So here's a confirmation settings. So it's really easy. I mean, just using the same page and the your generous donation is greatly appreciated. Okay. So this is, you can change the message here and I'll show that to you, um, how this is going to going to display uh, when I show you a demo. Okay. And there are other settings, uh, double opt-in confirmation. If you enable this, uh, you can do that. So I'm going to just disable this uh for this um donation management system and then there's the layout you can uh you can use that and the scheduling and restriction and the other um some settings here and the payment setting here and uh, so this is the us dollars uh this is a us client so i'm using just the us dollars all right and here's the email notification Okay, so you can add different notifications. So you just click this add notification button. So it's already, I created two uh, email notification. The first one is donation receives. So let me take a quick look here. So this is the email. If somebody uh, made a donation, so usually the admin get notified. Okay, so I'm just creating all data and uh, you can just add different short code right here. Okay, so you can just, uh, add a different show code on this message, but this is just internal. So, uh, admin can notify that when somebody uh, made a donation. Okay. And let's go back here. And then, so you can create another, uh, email notification. So this is just, uh, uh, you know, thank for, um, uh, to donors and then, um, so send to the email field. So this email is going to be uh, for donors. Okay. So donors information and his, this is the email subject and this is the email body. So once again, so you can put, um, different short code. So if you want to put just first name, you just click this first name. Okay. And then you can just insert the tag. Okay. So, and, uh, so this is just simple email template. And if you would like to, you know, you, you can, uh, create a conditional logics here as well. All right. So this, uh, email triggers after, um, so they submit the, um, donation form. Okay. You just hit save the notification and then uh, you like to capture all donors information, right? 
So uh, what I did was, uh, so like on the last here, configure integration, okay? And then, so I use uh, Fluent CRM and I've used, um, just enable this um, here, yeah, like you can integrate different um, the platform. So, but I'm using uh, Fluent CRM and then take a quick look here. So the list is donors. Uh, let me just uh, show that to you. I'm gonna open up new tab. So you can create a um, different list, okay? So I have um, here, donors information. Uh, if you wanna capture uh, volunteer information, volunteer, and another list for board members. Um, so you can just create it right here. So add new or create list, and then you can create um, different list. Okay, and the same as here, you can put another tag as well. Okay, if you want to. I'll explain this when I explain to you for volunteer management system. So let's just go go back to uh, integration. Okay. When they fill out the form, uh, when they put the email address, that goes to email. Okay, it's because this CIM, let me just click. Yeah, so we have different list. Um, yeah, so one of the donor here. And the first name, last name, and email address, and there's address field, right? So automatically, uh, when they fill out the form, made a donation, it goes to this CRM or client management system automatically. Okay, so we need just to configure this. Yeah, so first name goes to first name. Okay, so you just drop down here. You can just pick the input option here, okay? And then, uh, yeah, because I have address, so same thing. So you got to pick address here and so forth, okay? And if you want to, you can create tag um, and you can segment within the uh, donors list, okay? And just save this feed, all right? Now let's go back to form here. And this is the donation form, uh, what we've been working on. And just copy this short code, okay? Just copy that. The good thing about this CRM uh, using a WordPress platform is uh, you can just integrate. So let's go to uh, this website, also built with WordPress, and they hit donate button here. And then, so I just embedded this form. Uh, this is donation form. Let me just, I'm using Elementor here. So right here, I'm just gonna close that. So I'm using just a short code. So you just uh, find the short code widget, you just drag and drop, okay? And then you just copy, you, we just copy that the short code and just paste onto that. And then here is the form, okay? So that's how you do it. So I'm gonna just delete this. All right, and hit update. All right, so I'm gonna just fill out this uh, donation form. Actually, I'm gonna pause this video. All right, so uh, so it's gonna be, uh, you know, I'm gonna donate uh, 25 bucks here, and then uh, my client wants to uh, collect the data. My donation goes to uh, which program? And I'm gonna use um, uh, PayPal here, and then hit the donate. All right, so I'm gonna use, uh, this is just a test PayPal account. So I'm gonna use, uh, you know, just sandbox account here. And then uh, log into that. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, donate here. All right, so that's cool, I think it went. Now let's go to, um, main screen, so this is a CRM. Let's go to the back end here, okay? So go back to a dashboard and then go to a uh, Fluent CRM. I can just go to a contact here, okay? And then uh, hit the contact here. And as you can see, uh, here though, so Jeffrey Hosino is here and then goes to donors list right here, okay? And then, uh, so let's go to, um, uh, form here. Uh, no, actually, let's go to dashboard here and then go to form and the entries. 
and then now you'll see that $25 is um, donated right here okay so let's just click that so you see all the transaction right here okay so that's really easy and we create a list here so and you can do just call all contact and if you want to see you can filter by uh, if you want to see just only donors okay so you can see all the donors list here okay and the sum has um, you know tags right here because uh, um, this donor is also a volunteer as well okay and let's take a quick look at um, the email here so one email came to admin so the all the, the information the address and the you know one-time donation and then the uh, donation allocation here and the payment method so all the information is here um it came to admin and also um this email to donor so dear first name and so this is a template uh, we created so that goes out to a uh, person who made a donation so uh, it's really simple to use and it's working really great and then creating a campaign is also easy um, most of non-profit non organizations so they use uh, some client management system you know could it be like as simple as uh, the spreadsheet and also in addition to that uh, or separately they can they're using like mailchimp or constant contact for you know they're paying a tons of money for our email email management system or communication management system but this crm has all of that so right here so if you want to create email campaign okay so let's say uh, so i got this test set up here i'm just create that and you can just uh, i mean you can create a different template here but let me just uh, quick as uh, um there's some simple text here I'll copy this so let's say if you want to do some fundraising campaign and send out to only your client list uh who made a donation in the past uh, it's really easy so again like this is just dummy so you can create a uh, fancy um the email template uh, with this too so let's go to next step and then um you know donation and you can put the uh, email header oh i'm not going to explain this but you can do a b test as well okay and you don't have to pay um pay for that it's all included and if you can set um name and email uh if you don't check this you the default is your admin emails goes in but uh, if you want to change that to so let's say uh, uh, the email name and then um, the person's name here if you want to put the, let's say fundraising manager or director who look after the program so you can put that specific uh, name and email address as well so, uh, so i'm going to just uh, uncheck that and then continue next setting recipient here so um, now so i got almost uh, 1200 uh, people on the list but you don't want to send that uh all the list so you can just segment this and you can just send to um all the donors okay and if you have uh any tags specific tags donor and the board director for example uh donor and who's interested in only events for example uh you can do that and you can exclude a uh, contact too for now so i want to just send to uh you know uh who made a donation in the past great donor and then hit next step and the review first and here we go so you can you know send a test email uh beforehand uh so you can send it the email right now or you can even schedule it okay and you can do um email within a specific uh date and time range okay so and you just hit this and then send out to what uh, email uh, it goes out to uh, 11 uh, people uh, who made a donation on the people on the do donor list so once again uh, to me this is really simple and easy to use and you can create the donor management system um, you know this is so everything's in one place even like website is only in one place too so and you can streamline the process easily 
uh, again, so this is just, I'm talking about just the donut management system, but you can create a volunteer management system as well, which I'm going to talk about for the next video. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just let me know.